Hi sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, so if you had kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notification so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much, and I am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support. You all shower me here with I am grateful, and you all are super sweet. So today we'll be talking something very important. And before we get into this video, I am going to say that uh Please, you already be very careful where you go to, especially when you are sick. But this particular one is really crazy. And uh, knowing the fact that this young lady actually wrote down what she was allergic to before going into this, uh, probably going through the surgery or something, and they ended up giving her what she is allergic to. I don't know how this is happening. She wrote that she got has allergy and brought what she should not be given to and guess what that that thing she wrote that she got allergy for the drug was given to her thank god she survived what if she did not survive what would have happened it would have been, been pinned on something else people wouldn't even know what happened it would have been her like it was her time and now you can imagine some of the people that may have gone through so many things like this without even knowing that it was what she was allergic to or what they said that i am allergic to this or something like that and they still gave it to this person some probably passed and i am so happy that this young lady nothing happened i mean she actually got reactions but she survived it and she is telling the story and calling them out and whatever they get, especially that doctor, he deserves all that and more. Like, how do people do things like this? How do people joke with people's lives? I mean, you have a hint that you are not supposed to give her this. You still went ahead to give it to her. Like, what happened to your conscience? I am going to roll this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. And I absolutely want to read all your comments. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. So straight up, let's get y'all please watch this video that i'm about to show you and please blow it up my friend came out of her surgery for lupus and was given a medicine off of her allergy list knowingly and she recorded the staff saying that they knew that they did it watch the video repost share boost i don't care but get this blown up because this is medical malpractice and they could have killed her so please share the post and watch the video i'm about to show you i don't really want to point fingers but there's more than one person in the room all right so, so I you saw that it was on my allergy list and you still gave it to me the intention was not to give you something you're allergic to. We don't do that. But you saw that it was on my allergy list and you still gave it to me. So intention be damned. You gave me something off of my allergy list. And you saw it there. And I know for a fact it's in region system. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to report it to our department in the hospital. Talk to other people in the operating room as well. Okay, I can't go back and, and suck it out. But I'm happy to listen if there's anything else I can do to it going forward. You but knowingly gave me something off of my allergy list. I think it's... A, could, do you have the notes from Minnesota Radiology? I know for a fact that they did not because I'm allergic to it, so we switched it. Are you already in half nine? I'll be over in a few Can I move this for you? Their note says that it was administered no. as and fentanyl. No, they didn't because right. I'm allergic. They switched it. All right, well, if there's anything else I can do, let me know. But I, I the simple can't thing go back that you can do house. is look at my allergy list and honor okay. that and not give me something I'm allergic okay. to, but you I saw agree. it and you gave it to me anyway. I agree. I wish it didn't happen. I don't see how you wish it didn't happen. You saw it on my allergy list. You saw my allergy list, did you not? You did. And then you gave me something off of my allergy list? Yeah, it was not my intention to do that. 
I, how was it not your intention? You saw it there and then you gave it to me either way. It's irresponsible as fuck. My friend came out of her surgery for lupus and was given a medicine off of her allergy list knowingly. Man, it's crazy because this happened to me. I was in the emergency room getting seen. Nurse came in there with some medicine. I took it. Come to find out it was another patient's meds. And the meds they gave me, I was allergic to. I'm in the process with a lawyer now trying to get my my funds because what how you gonna give me somebody else medication i'm allergic to it and all y'all do is give me benadryl and send me home knowing i live by myself i woke up the next day i have burn marks i got burnt from the inside out burn marks on my stomach burn marks on my breast burn marks on my hands and you know i'm still fighting with them and it's been almost two years they want to see my medical records, this, that, and the third. Y'all know what y'all did. Y'all put it in my discharge papers. Why? Why? These doctors don't give a fuck about us. We got to pay attention, be on our P's and Q's, and advocate for ourselves because these hospitals suck. Oh, but they want their money. Make sure y'all repost this video and get her heard because this is ridiculous malpractice and they could have killed her so please share the post and watch the video i'm about to show you i'm gonna talk about the video but i just want to say the girl that introduced the video that is my cousin's cousin doppelganger she looks just like her i just seen her over the weekend and when i, I scrolled across her video i was like wait she makes tiktoks and i was like wait that's not her doppelgangers all over tiktok i'm telling you i'll find it double but now back to the video you see how I swear they're trained to talk like that. You see, she's talking, she's keeping calm. It's just like, um, mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah, well, you could have killed her. They don't care. They do not give a fuck. If you can't read somebody's what they're allergic to list, then you shouldn't be a nurse for nobody. The fuck? Like, why are these people able to do this shit and keep their job? I'm still, I think I could call the FBI as far as those four fucking nurses that ended up causing my husband's death but whatever like that watch this video that i'm about to show you and please blow it up hey y'all hey i want to offer a little bit of unsolicited advice to my black and brown brothers and sisters and i'm offering it to you because we already know about it you feel me now here you go if you feel you have a lawsuit and it's a valid lawsuit, especially a lawsuit with a large payout. Stay off social media. That's car wrecks, medical malpractice, assault, anything, any kind of lawsuit you feel that you have that could possibly rule in your favor. Keep it off social media. Don't believe me? Ask any lawyer that you may come across. As a matter of fact, will the lawyers of TikTok, especially the black lawyers of TikTok, please step in. Anything you post on social media can be used against you. And once you obtain a lawyer and decide to file that lawsuit, it is really illegal for them to tell you to take it down. They will ask you if you have anything on social media so they will be fully aware of it. But they will also tell you not to post anything on social media because it can be used against you. Even the most innocent post can be used against you. And that is all. Uh, please watch this video that I'm about to show you and please blow it up. My friend came out of her surgery. 
my response or addition to that video, please go watch that video, um, is for white people. This is for educational purposes. I've seen it. I've heard it. We're not getting into the excuses and what people say and what they think. But I'm telling you what this woman suffered was because of racism. It was either intentional. I don't know. I wasn't there. I can't say that. Or it's an implicit racial bias. And I have seen it with my own eyes. I've had two children in the past four years and I had them at a larger city hospital. And at that hospital, we were given lots of uh, information about how dangerous it is to have babies um, as a black woman in this country, which that doesn't apply to me. However, my first experience with birth was terrible. And that I think caused me to take a deep dive. And now I'm quite vocal um, about how dangerous it is for uh, black women or women of, you know, any minority color. <laughs> and it shouldn't be that way. It's disgusting. My husband was being admitted for surgery and this Corman comes in, just a kid. God, he, he was probably 18. I don't know. Just a kid. And he's trying to put the IV in my husband. And they asked him, my husband, you know, are you okay if he does this, if he tries this, whatever, you know. And, oh, it's a learning hospital. Whatever. The kid sticks my husband and starts digging around. And I'm like, no. Nuh-uh. You see? Because I had just learned about implicit racial biases in the medical community. So I was a little sensitive. And also, I'm pretty mouthy. Yeah. So I tell the kid, you're not digging in my husband's arm for this IV. Like, get out, start over. We'll go from the top. One more try. If my husband says okay, whatever. We're not doing this. And I'm running my mouth. <laughs> and my husband often has to step in. And he... <laughs> Uh, the kid, the kid, the corpsman says, you know, oh, he has thick skin and, and words, 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 words. And I wasn't having it. I said, no, absolutely not. Take all those thoughts you have. He doesn't have thicker skin than normal or usual or white people. He has black skin and that's what you see. So figure this out without harming him. Serena Williams almost died in childbirth. And fortunately, she has the notoriety, the money, the personality, whatever it is that she was able to speak up and save her own life. Thank God this woman recorded this interaction. No one's going to call her a liar now because it's on tape. So all I want to share is one, first of all, I hope she's okay. I don't know her history or her medical stuff. I'm not a medical person anyways. I just hope from one human to another that, that she's okay and that she recovers and that this allergic reaction does not cause any long-term damage. But as a white woman growing up in a world of, oh, I'm not racist, like it's fine. I want other white people to understand this is a real example of a real issue. This is a great opportunity for you to learn and accept when people are telling you their truth, you should believe them. You should listen and things need to change. Our medical community needs to change. Our standard of care for people of color across genders, across shades 
needs to change. It needs improvement. We've got to fix it. We have a lot to fix in this country. But this is one thing I think is just a great lesson for, for white people to learn that this is real. So go on, fix it. Y'all, please watch this video that I'm about to show you and please blow it up. My friend came out of her surgery for... So first, please go back and watch that video. Um, what that woman had to go through was insane and unreasonable. Um, I don't know what kind of agency exists to keep hospitals accountable, but at the time that I'm making this video, she posted her video about eight hours ago. The reviews that I looked at for the hospital, just the ones that I found were from a month and Like, what? Okay, pause to read. I'm trying to put these in the right order, but there was just so many. Just look up the hospital. Um, they have a terrible- They left a 75 year old woman alone. So... Yeah, it just looks like that's a really terrible ho- I really want to point fingers, but there's more than one person in the room. Alright, so I- For context, go watch the video. So, it spurred me to go do more research on the hospital that this took place at, and it has 2.8 stars. One star would give zero stars if I could. My son was sent home with a collapsed lung, and the other one bruised. Here I expressed my- Concerns about him being sent home. And another one, uh, one star. The surgeon was good, but the communication was awful, and the nurses and the staff. This one is a whole review on telling them why you shouldn't bring elderly people to this hospital. This place reeks of malpractice, and the fact that something hasn't been done about it already is concerning. Uh, please watch this video that I'm about to show you, and please blow it up. My friend came out of her surgery. Y'all, this problem is real, okay? It doesn't matter how many times you put it into your um, records, they question you over and over again. So solumedrol is the first line of defense on Crohn's disease, which is a steroid. It's an IV steroid. I have a severe neurologic reaction. At the time, we didn't realize I had a KRE1 malformation. That probably has a lot to do with my re reaction to the steroids. However, a GI doctor came in and convinced that that could never happen and because he'd never seen a reaction like that I was lying about it and all the doctors and nurses that had made notes beforehand they were mistaken I can't remember honestly if I was there with somebody or if I was not there was a lot of times that I was in the hospital by myself trying to be my own advocate I remember going back and forth with this doctor i remember the nurse being a younger nurse and like deer in headlights what the fuck do i do and sure enough i finally looked at him and i said fuck you then fine if you kill me it's on you but i promise you i might be here by myself and or somebody may be with me that doesn't understand my allergy but my family knows my family knows well he gave me that solumedrol and within less than two minutes of it hitting my bloodstream. They had to strap me to the bed. They had to give me counteractive drugs, massive amounts of Benadryl and massive amounts of Ativan. They basically had to put me in almost a state of a medical induced coma. I was on those strong medications for nearly three days until that shit got out. I wrote a formal complaint. Nobody ever called me. I called up to find out about it. It acted as if it had never happened. I promise you, if you're going into the hospital I know there's going to be lockdowns. I know they're talking about lockdowns. But if you have somebody in the hospital or if you're going to the hospital, make sure if you're by yourself that you are in contact 
with those that you love, somebody knows you're in the hospital and that they're taking care of you in the background. Shoot videos while you're in there. Fuck them. And blind call somebody and say, just please stay on the line. Hold a minute, I just got a friend, you know, just stay on the line and listen. We are considered fucking ignorant when we're laying in these beds. And I promise you, my privilege, my privilege, I was treated so much better, even in that fucking hell, than most women of color. Y'all be warned and beware. Bring an advocate with you. And if you don't have an advocate with you, every single time somebody comes into that fucking room in the hospital, make sure you're calling somebody and just laying it on the bed so they can listen in. If you have the capability of doing a FaceTime, set that bitch up. If you don't have those capabilities, if nobody's answering, you film every second protect yourself be your best advocate and do not allow the doctors to make you the host of your own body think you're stupid they can be fired you can ask for another doctor and if that is a problem look for a naturopath if you need financial help we will find a way a naturopath is going to fix you our medical doctors are not listening they think they're god and they don't care. Not all of them. Not all of them. But be aware. Sending big love to your friend. Big, big love to your friend. And if y'all need any help, if all you, it, please, hit me up. I will help you find lawyers. I will help you. Let's not let them fuck with us anymore. Sending big love. Update. Um, I've been having issues and my mom's been in and out of the hospital, so I've been taking care of her. It's been a very, very hard few days, but Brittany is being sent home today, and she's not in the condition to be sent home. She's still coughing up blood. She's still on oxygen at the hospital, and she's not going to have that at home. She still doesn't have the money for her medicines that she's going to need or her infusions, and they told her if you can't fundraise, then you just so need to start getting... I got from this video and uh, stitches, and I just really don't know where to start from, but something sounds really very crazy and uh not realistic but uh it is real it happened and uh the fact that this young lady actually wrote that uh wrote down her i mean her allergies and things she should do, like no she is not supposed to take and a doctor i mean what marvels me is that is a doctor that he saw all this the doctor knew that she has allergies right and he was not supposed to give her a particular drug and he ended up giving it to her pure medical malpractice and it was intentional not like it was not intentional this thing was on her book medical book i don't know how people do things like this but then this really shows how uh how far people can go especially people in medical fields because i don't see how somebody said i am not supposed to take this and you ended up giving it to her so what he wanted for was for this young lady to probably he wants to unalive her and what if something had happened nobody would act like no, who would come out to say that it was because they gave her something that she was allergic to? Like, how would we know or how, who would have told her story? Nobody would tell her story. They probably would pin it on something else. So this is, like, you know, this is just to tell you that there are so many people that are no more that were, their life were cut short intentionally, Right? And I am really happy that this young lady is alive to tell her story. And this doctor, whatever he is getting, he deserves it hundredfold because you don't mess around with people's lives. I mean, we are talking about lives. We are not talking about, I mean, 
fruits or something. We are talking about human life. And I really don't understand where they get this idea that black people have thick uh, skin. Who told you that? How, how, how did you people really arrive at this? Because I, I really do not understand it and make all these things make sense. Really, like, you know, we are blowing this up. I mean, all over TikTok, people are doing, people are stitching because they want this young lady to get help. They want her to get justice because you don't know how many people this may have happened to. The ones that survived and the ones that did not survive. It's just like what happened in uh, in England, in, yeah, in London. A nurse that has been doing something to, uh, to babies and a, I think a colored person complained and the person was sacked. Why? Because he's a white person. So they really don't get to listen to us most of the time. Even when we complain, even when we have evidence. But I am like very, very happy that this young lady first hand evidence. Let her take it up. Sue them. Let's see how far. And I love the fact that people also straight up went to check the hospital out. Just to find out that there are so many horrible reviews about them. And this is also more like a wake up call. Please, we all should really be careful where we are going to, especially medically and all that, because they really do not care. This is where I am going to draw the curtain. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.